learning that the deputy cm mr dk shivkumar has hit out at the citizens of karnataka calling them ungrateful he saying that he will increase water tariff at any cost people are ungrateful let them protest we will increase the water tariff he is also saying that if they don't get water they will abuse us call us and put messages on whatsapp they do not know how difficult it is let the media and opposition abuse us i am bound to increase the water tariff they can criticize or protest i will not stop we will increase the tariff other Otherwise, BWSSB will not survive. Remember, uh, he had also requested the BWSSB to prepare a report. But uh, remember, this water tariff is also uh, coming up shortly after the tariff in fuels and petrol was also increased uh, some months ago. Let's quickly go across to Harish, who's joining us live on the broadcast. Harish, uh, if you could share with us the justification that's being given by DKS for this hike. Well, DK Shukumar might be saying that uh, the BWSSP, the Water Board of Bangalore, uh, hasn't increased the water tariff for the last eight to nine years. That's why there is a reason now to increase the water tariff because uh, the power generation cost also has gone up. But the way this justification has been put out is something that's problematic. He says that uh, people are ungrateful. They do not remember what you do or the uh, circumstances and the trouble that they take to ensure that water is supplies, supplied. He says uh, they will abuse us, send messages on WhatsApp or call us, but that won't stop me from increasing the water tariff. The question here is, is DK Shukumar now angry that there is criticism that came in uh, from the citizens against the government, especially when uh, uh, this government failed to provide water to large parts of Bengaluru uh, sometime in March, April, uh, when we had severe water crisis, especially the newer areas of Bengaluru. Remember that had hit international headlines as well. So is he now angry for the fact that there was criticism from citizens? Is that why he's today saying that uh, citizens are ungrateful? Are citizens supposed to be right. grateful is the question. Second, the governments are elected to be uh, ensuring that these services are given. Why is he now using this as a justification to increase uh, the water tariff is something that uh, this government will find it difficult to explain. Absolutely. And Harish, the fact of the matter remains is, you know, the question is, is DK Shivkumar also backtracking? Because remember, uh, till the month of June, he had maintained that BWSSB will be preparing a report, which will also be presented uh, in the public domain before taking a final call. Yes, uh, somewhere uh, even today he's saying that probably a section of uh, users in Bengaluru might have to pay more for water tariff. That hasn't been the case uh, ever in Bangalore. Across board, we have seen water tariff increasing based on the consumption, the amount of water that's consumed. There are different slabs. But now he's talking about section of consumers feeling the pinch of this or increasing water tariff for them. That's something that, once again, we'll see a lot of criticism. Right. The BJP already jumping in, saying that the uh, Deputy Chief Minister has got arrogant and call, calling right. citizens ungrateful. You know, in fact, let's have it straight from the horse's mouth. Going to request you, Arish, to stay with us because I'm also joined by Mr. S. Prakash of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Mr. Prakash, what's your assessment of the way uh, uh, DK Shivkumar has put out his decision? Yeah. The power has gone deeply into his head. Such arrogant statement over the price hike in only an insensitive man can make it. Just because he, is a, he has got uh, loads of money with him, he believes even the Bangaloreans are equally rich and are, can afford to pay them. Instead of giving a good service to the people of Bangalore, he is speaking about the raising the water tariff. But there is a method even to that. If, if the department is desperately needs to raise the water tariff, why don't it uh, initiate a dialogue with the elected representatives and try to convince them? Instead of that, making a very rude statement, he is the hallmark of Mr. D.K. Shukumar. Absolutely. Mr. Prakash, you know, the allegation uh, that comes in from the Karnataka Congress mostly is that uh, when your party was in power, it did nothing about the state of the water board in the state. But, uh, you know, it is the Karnataka Congress that is now being cornered just because it wants to sort of resurrect the uh, crumbling infrastructure of the BWSSP. Crumbling infrastructure means there is no fund in, for developmental activities in Karnataka. Their focus is on guarantee schemes. That is why they are finding a very difficulty in managing all these public services. In During the BJP regime, such a crisis was not, uh, was not there. We were able to manage efficiently. It is now the term of the Congress party and they should do it instead of complaining about the 
still complaining about right, the Right, but Mr. Prakash, the Congress says that you have not, you, you know, your party was not able to finish the fifth and final phase of the Kaveri project, which has now uh, become incumbent for their government to finish, and that is why they need these tariffs. In a, in a democracy, when the power changes, many of the work which is incomplete gets completed during the uh, predecessor uh, uh, period. And uh, even uh, with regards to the BWSSP uh, uh, fifth phase scheme, it, uh, it had almost come to an end. Now, the, during the DK Shukumar period, it, it, it is now uh, completely finished and uh, they are able to provide water to the people of Bangalore and the other 110 villages of uh, uh, outskirts of Bangalore. Mm. Mm. It is always so in, in many of the projects, even when UPA was there, similar arrangement was there. And it, we pointed out, they were saying, no, 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 we are done it. And only now Modi government has completed. So why now, why, how does it change in Karnataka? The same uh, logic is applicable even here. All right. Many thanks to you, Mr. Prakash, for sharing in your insights with us. I go back to Arish, who continues to stay with us. Arish, the question is, you know, the, the, the one that's also raised by the Karnataka Congress is that why couldn't the previous governments address the power issue or even uh, the kind of losses that the BWSSB is currently uh, incurring? It's a valid question. Why didn't successive governments for the last eight to nine years? Remember, this proposal has been pending for the last nine years or so. BWSSB has been seeking an increase in water tariff. None of the governments moved because it's not a popular uh, option for governments. But at the same time, the finances of BWSSB have taken a hit. The government now will have to chip in and give them some sort of a, either a, a, a dole out in terms of bailing them out or uh, giving them some sort of a yearly allocation that hasn't happened. Uh, but none of the governments went in for that. The argument by DK Shu Kumar is that the power tariff has kept on increasing. Remember, Bangalore gets water from uh, from Mysuru, from Kaveri, roughly around 100 odd kilometers from here. They'll have to pump it to a higher elevation, which means there's a significant amount of money that goes for this in terms of power bill. And he's saying that's gone up over the last few years and it's unsustainable now for the BWSSP if it doesn't increase the water tariff. What everyone is objecting here is not the increase in uh, water tariff. The way the minister yes. is going in, the way the minister is trying to justify this, calling citizens ungrateful. Absolutely. Many thanks to you, Harish, for putting that entire story into perspective for us. We will keep uh, bringing in more breaking inputs. But for now, let's cut into a quick break. And with that, it's a wrap of this broadcast. Thank you so much for watching. News and updates continue on the other side.